Hi everybody again. My name is Daryl and um, the name of my channel is Daryl Goes Shopping because that's what I do best. <laughs> Actually what I like to do is shop at the bins because I'm all about um, sustainable clothing and taking things uh, away from their trajectory to the landfill. And, um, but it's also a hunt. And if you're um, a, a hunter bargain shopper like I am, you know what that thrill is. So that's probably most of it. Um, but I have um, uh, kind of, uh, uh, it, my platform has somewhat changed uh, over the last few years and I started doing business uh, in uh, 1999 um, on eBay and uh, I was I was a seller back in the Wild West <laughs> and uh, um, but now I'm older and um, and I'm very blessed and fortunate that I don't have to um, be worried about how much stuff I list. So I do not generally resell. Um, what I do is I buy things for me and then um, I do resell things when I come across something that's incredible. <laughs> like the Isabel Morant dress that I got a while back. Um, uh, but beyond that, um, what I do is I send the items that don't work for me to the thrift shop that um, that the church I go to runs. And um, what their monies do is provide community service for people in the neighborhood. And so um, I hope that that is um, a, a good way to use my resources. And, um, and I just hope you want to come along on the trip with me. And while I show you what I got, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff together and, uh, and bear with me. I'm getting the editing down, but I am still working with, uh, shooting from my phone. So, um, <laughs> we'll see what this one turns out like. <laughs> so take a look at this. Woo! Oops, I can't get far enough back, I don't think. Here we go. This is a dress from a brand called Bash. And, um, hello. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's got a bunch of, I hope you can see, it has a bunch of tears and ruffles um, uh, here. And um, here we go. Wee! It's a cute, flirty, mini length. Not too short for me, anyway. And um, the retail on this dress is $335. And everybody is just passing by it, and I'm thinking, oh, I like that ditzy looking print. So um, I nabbed it. This is a pair of pants that I am unfamiliar with the brand. It's called Frankenstein. And they're just a, a rayon, easy, comfy, um, casual pant. You can see here, with an elastic waist in this gray and light blue stripe. And I paired it up with this Lululemon tee. And I think the logo is on the back and I hope you can see it there. I don't know, maybe you just saw the back of my head. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you some of the casual things. I got a bunch of dresses and I can't wait to show those to you. Now here I am in my wardrobe, staple, right? And you know what, they are even the, the, the same pieces. This is a Madewell top. And these are Lululemon pants. So let me tell you about them. These are a camel print, if you can't see that. And they're just the classic, uh, the high rise, and they are the lighter fabrication that is so easy to wear and so comfortable. And then this is a, a Madewell shirt, and I just could go on and on about them all. This one's an extra small. And 
I'm still really happy with the way it fits. I have another one I'm going to show you that's an extra large, and I like it too. So, This is a top fitness brand uh, called Manduka, and um, it's a, a I've been running into it a fair amount lately, so it must be sold online somewhere. Um, I couldn't find out a lot about it, um, but uh, this is like on par with Lululemon and Athleta. And what I'm doing here is tying it in the back so I have more of a fitted um, piece here. Um, but it is a, it's a long, loose, top and I've paired it with this blue um, sports bra and of course you could always do my favorite here you go what would a pair of lululemons be without a half tuck <laughs> so that is these And this is another fitness top that has a cutout back here. And uh, I don't know what the brand is, but I just think it's cute. It probably could use a, an iron and I could probably cinch it up a little bit more. Um, here, see how this looks. Anyway, really liked it. So I didn't care what brand it was and I don't care what size it is either. <laughs> okay, here is part two of my uniform. <laughs> These are pants by Athleta and I'm not sure if you can see in the frame, um, the perforation in the um, fronts of the legs, which I think is cute. And they have kind of a cropped fit here. And then this is the uh, aforementioned uh, Madewell Extra Large Tee, which there are no words. It's all good. <laughs> and it's just a couple of more tees just because they're from a brand I like a lot. It's Michael Stars. And the, uh, the, the fabric quality is always nice on them, and they usually run uh, about $100. Um, though you can find them um, at, uh, at discounts uh, like TJ Maxx and, and Marshalls. So this is one, this is kind of a gray one. And now this one is kind of an ivory one, and it's also from Michael Stars. Okay, I just now tried this on and um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not or whether. <laughs> so I'm sometimes not quite sure what to do with a bodysuit. And that's what this is. It's from a brand called um, uh, Naked Wardrobe. And again, a brand I hadn't heard of, but evidently that's what they do is uh, bodysuits. And uh, so I really like this one. It's got a double layer of fabric in the front. And so it just gives you a nice smooth line, which <laughs> I could definitely use. And I snagged this awesome pair of Lululemon leggings and they're in my favorite fabrication, my favorite fit. So here's their... So I was really happy with that. Let me see if I can put this uh, um, sports top on over all of this and what it's going to look like. Again, this is a piece with no brand. Um, and, you know, I'm of mixed, mixed mind about things without a brand. If I were reselling, I would not be... Um, I wouldn't be grabbing them because you can't, they're, they're a hard thing to sell. So I think this top needs, um, it needs to shrink. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's really loose right here. And I, I, I first thought it was supposed to be right, but I think it, I think it's supposed to be fitted like that. 
So we'll see what we can do with it. It has this nice, um, uh, um, seamless fabrication. <laughs> okay, and this is a top from a brand called Monroe. And I didn't run comps on them, but I will. And I'll see what, um, what they run. I've owned a couple of pieces by this brand. And um, besides having a very low neckline, <laughs> um, uh, they, uh, they have innovative patterns and, and textiles. And so um, I got one other one that I will show you as well. Um, but they are a fairly expensive brand. And so check the comps and uh, I, it'll, it'll keep you posted as far as what these, what these run. And this is the second one from the uh, Monroe brand. I think I like this one better, but then it's a white t-shirt, right? <laughs> this piece is from Vince Camuto. And I love just all of the ruffles going on with it. And I love the ladylike kind of old fashioned print. <laughs> and I always like blouses with, with jeans. I like the juxtapositioning of them. So, the shorts are, um, yeah, I think they're Gap. Um, I got them because I liked the high rise waist and I knew that they were gonna be a good fit and um, I'm just all about comfortable cutoffs. <laughs> so I can't wait to show you all of the, the dresses that I've got, but first I'm gonna show you some of these other things that are just awesome. Check this stuff out. There, I get to sit down. <laughs> no. um, this is a gorgeous cashmere scarf and it has a tag on it and a label and it is so soft. Um, this is a V-neck women's cashmere sweater. Um, I thought it was men's, but um, it's got a square cut and it just appears to be a women's oversized cashmere piece. And I need to um, fix a, a hole or a, a seam in that and it'll be good. Um, then a pair of Lululemon. I don't know what the real name for these are. It's just a skirt, but it's really a skirt. There's shorts on shorts underneath it, see. And it's a, my size, it's an eight. And so I'll probably wear that for sure, if not um, here, if it ever gets warm enough, <laughs> or, but I will take it on vacation. Um, this is uh, just a cute top. This is from Victoria's Secret. And it's a swimsuit top. And then this is just awesome. I was disappointed once I got it home and looked closely at the size when I tried it on because it's an extra large. And I can fiddle around between a small and a medium and even a large. Um, but as I mentioned in other videos, when, you're, when you've got an oversized piece or you know a loose piece to start with, and then you go up a size, you just end up with a lot of fabric and it isn't necessarily a good thing. So let me show you this a little bit better. Isn't it pretty? Ugh. It's the Anthropology brand and it's a stretch lace. And it probably had, uh, I'm guessing, an $80, $90 price tag on it. And then last of all, and again, this was a piece that I neglected to look at the size closely. I was so excited to find it. Um, and sometimes, you know, I can get the small on, but not this one. This one's, uh, it's by Tularosa. And, um... It's called the Audrey dress. And I found it for $160 used. Mm. 
Isn't that cute? So the Audrey dress has pin tucks through the front here and then just falls into this um, A-line shape that just kind of floats around and uh, with a, a bell sleeve. Here we go. And I love this uh, African-inspired print. It's just beautiful. So on to the dresses. Well, on to them now. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? Look at these little buttons here. You can button this up and pull it tight like this. This is from H&M. And I remember seeing these in the store windows. I think it was probably um, last summer. And uh, so, and the dresses were not expensive. You know, they not ever, they never are. But this has got um, a pleated fabrication. And I just think it's gorgeous. Uh, it's just a keeper. And I was hesitant to buy it because it was a size four. So I can imagine how large this would be on a size four person. <laughs> I think it's perfect for my size eight person. <laughs> what do you think of yellow? I love it. And um, it's supposedly one of the big, big colors for summer. And just look at this awesome dip dye on this piece. I don't know what so this is from a brand called Apart. And I really don't know anything about it other than I, I think the fit is wonderful for me and the color is great. And uh, I was just super excited about it. It's a polyester chiffon. <laughs> now this dress is a ruffled drop waist with um, shoulder ties from Diane von Furstenberg. And uh, the fabric is a stretch jersey silk. There's the tie there. And uh, just super cute. Um, it's a little tricky figuring out how to get it on. Um, but once you do, it works pretty well, I think. And I'm gonna pair it up with this blazer that is awesome. In part, just to cover myself up a bit. Boy, I needed to tie it a little tighter. <laughs> uh, this blazer I took a chance on. Um, it had heavy makeup all along the inside of the collar. And I didn't know whether it was makeup um, or suntan stuff or what have you, but a lot of times that stuff is very resistant. But I lucked out and it just took some Dawn dish detergent and some heavy sudsing action. <laughs> and it came out beautifully. And the jacket is from Mural. And it's from a few seasons ago. I actually own it in pink um, as well. But I love the long lapels and the tuxedo inspired look. And I just really like the fit of this thing and it goes with everything. It is just gorgeous. Um, so I have a few more things. I've got m some more menswear um, that I'm gonna corral my husband into. And then I have also um, an awesome pair of pants that everything goes with. And so I'm going to put all of those pieces on real quick and then wrap this all up. And now what did I do with my clicker? <laughs> Here you go. Whee! <laughs> okay. These are the awesome pants that I got and I just love them to pieces. They have a, a balloon fit. Um, 
and some pleats up at the top. And this cute piece that I've paired it with is from Anthropology, Delita, Deletta, Deletta. So I'm gonna whip through the tops pretty fast. Always like a tonal look, a monochromatic look, and especially when it's whites. Um, this is a top from Ann Taylor uh, Main Store, and it's just a light breezy cotton with some coverage here <laughs> at these well-placed pockets. And then again, these amazing LF Marquee pants. I love this piece. It's white, it's lace. Need I say more? It's from uh, James Coviello and it has a stretch back and then this more rigid lace in the front. And um, this is an anthropology brand that uh, I just think is beautiful. Of course you could wear um, um, skims or a piece underneath this, but I think that the, 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 um, the tonal colored um, sports bra underneath it is fine. This pretty piece is from Free People. Let's stick it out there. Hanger thingy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this piece is from a brand called Blue Heaven, and there are a number of ways you can wear it. I'm just going to give you a general idea here of, of what it's doing. I love this uh, center twist, and I think it makes it easy just to wear it like this. Uh, when I initially tried it on, I did a half tuck so that it, all the twist landed here, but I don't think you even need to do that now. You can twist it up a little tighter by adjusting what's going on through here. This is just summer comfort, comfort, right? And I love the pink color. Just really like this. I might keep this on today. <laughs> I think it's going to be a whopping 68 degrees. And this awesome, gorgeous, beautiful top, <laughs> can you tell I like it, is from Ecote. And I believe that it's carried at Urban Outfitters. And it just has all of these feminine touches here with some, some tuck details. And then the back has another row of, um, of gathers across here. And um, so, and I love it with the loose baggy pants. I just like the overall slouchy, easy aesthetic. This is a super light cotton. And uh, I just saw in this month's Johnny Was catalog <laughs> that this color is just all through it. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about this piece and it, it will match up with a lot of stuff. And I don't have a price point. You see in its Urban Outfitters, it was probably like $80. Okay, so check out my shoes. I hope you can see them. Aren't they sparkly? <laughs> I saw them sitting here and I thought, oh, you know, these might go just really nice with this classic, basic Wilfred Free dress. So let me scoot this up a bit. See, it's just a easy A-line dress falls just above the knee. <clears throat> so super for just running around in. I can see it just as easily with a pair of tennis shoes or a pair of all birds um, and running around doing errands. So here we have now another one of these really easy summer slip dresses. And this is from a uh, brand called the Pyramid Collection. And again, another place I'm not familiar with, but I have to say I really like this dress. 
and uh, it ran about $89 and it's just cotton all the way down to the hemline and then it has kind of a, um, a silk or a rayon ruffle. Um, I also got this hat and I'll step away so you can see the dress, but I wanted to show you the hat. The hat's from Nine West. I like good if I pulled my hair back maybe and <laughs> so I'm gonna have to adjust my camera too here. So take a look at yeah, the bottom here. It's times like this where I miss the uh, vertical um, angle on my camera, but I've discovered that uh, running the camera orientation with YouTube, uh, they don't like each other. <laughs> or at least we're trying it this way this time, and uh, we'll see what we get. Hopefully it will work without five uploads. So I have stuff now to show you that I got for my husband and uh, I'm so excited to get to show you this men's stuff. So uh, gather any interested parties in to come and take a look and uh, and then I'll sign off. Okay, here's some stuff I got for my husband. Um, he's got on a pair of blue-gray Uniqlo stretch chinos that are a great fit for him. They have kind of a slim leg. And I also got them in navy blue. So uh, he's sitting pretty good for uh, pants from Uniqlo. And then the shirt is from Nordstrom and, and the brand is the Nordstrom brand. Okay, here we are. It's summertime now and we've got a pair of uh, red shorts from an unknown brand. Mm. and a shirt from <laughs> Victoria Knox, which is the company that makes Swiss knives. Awesome, huh? Okay, next. Here we go again. The shorts are from L-O-G-G, -G, which is an Urban Outfitters brand, and this shirt is just awesome. It's from, uh, fix the collar. It's from Theory, and, um, a slubbed cotton and I really love the white color with the with the colored shorts. I think it's just a upscale um, menswear that isn't trying too hard. Okay and here we have our last outfit. I have to say really props for my husband for uh, for gamely putting up with me. Um, can you scoot back just a tiny bit more so they can see your feet? Okay. The pants are lightweight cotton, perfect summer cargo pants from Everlane. And um, I paired them up again with the Theory t-shirt because I just love the blue and the white. And that's it for all of that, folks. And uh, husband's much appreciated. We didn't get really pricey stuff for him this time, but I have a bunch of Lululemon coming up in the next video that he's going to show us. So... Okay, I'm near the end. I found two pieces I forgot to show you. So, and seeing as that they're Lululemon, I thought, oh gosh, well, <laughs> some of the best stuff I got. Dang it. Okay, uh, I'm back just to sign off and to say thank you for watching. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll let the Lululemon tops go where they may. And uh, as you can see, I, I uh, hit slow-mo on my camera. <laughs> and um, that was interesting and entertaining for about three seconds. <laughs> so um, thanks for, for watching, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, we'll see you for the next one.